It's the same concept. If I can get to this thing with hand control, I'm controlling this hand. Carl goes to turn into me to regard. I still have hand control. Can pull his shoulder and drive him back to the floor if I can continue this. His arm's gonna get way more tired before I am. I'm just hanging on it and I'm staying behind the elbow. Just chilling. He wants to under, probably would love to get an underhook and escape out the back, right? But how's he gonna do that if I've got hand control? He's gotta break my hand control before he can do anything. He can start trying to turn on his body, or turn on his side and trying to lever underneath to get his guard. But I'm under that, that elbow and I have hand control. Get him into a weak position. There's no move I know that starts off with, hey, throw your elbow way in the, in the air and shove your hand down. Doesn't, no, nobody does that. So let's put them there. My weight's on Carl and I'm attacking. Now it doesn't matter which hand was on top. I'm just gonna drive my weight into this. And then here's my top wrist lock. No thumb though, because I like to use the palm to rotate. Rotate and pinch. 